Shh, don't tell anyone. I think I may have found the best multimeter. And if you don't believe me, let's take a look and you can decide for yourself. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're a long time subscriber, as usual, welcome back. Today I have something here that I'm so excited about and I had to make a video to show you guys. In this box could possibly be a hidden gem in the electrical DIY landscape. What I found was this multimeter from a company called Venlab. It's the Venlab 600A and I think, in my opinion, this is a must have tool for any DIY enthusiast or electrician. So let's face it, there are tons of different ones, but what you really want in a multimeter is the best features and quality for the cheapest price, right? And this bad boy has it all and then some, and I mean then some. Just wait till you see all the things that this little beast is packing. Now, if you're in the market for a new multimeter, for whatever reason, there are several key features that you should always look for and some you don't know that you should look for. And that's why I'm here to help you out, of course. So what I'm gonna do is a quick unboxing slash review of all the key features and also cover what I call some of the cool features that will separate this multimeter from most of its competitors. Stay tuned to the end where I'll be going over the pricing of this thing and also go over the pros and cons that I found while I had the pleasure of working with this since I got it. First of all, let's take a look at what you get when you unbox this thing and when you buy it. And then we can talk about price. So as you open the box, you'll be greeted with the multimeter, of course, along with the connector leads. And we have some thermocouple leads, spare fuses, instruction manual and batteries. The instruction manuals are not in here and the batteries aren't in here because I'll tell you one thing, the batteries that come with this thing suck and that's why you don't see them here. They're honestly felt soft and squishy like they're about to explode. So, hey Venlab, if you can hear me, please ship your multimeter with good batteries. Aside from that, that's all you get in the box. It's pretty basic, but who cares? That's all you really need. I'm gonna set these aside so that I can just focus on the multimeter and we'll get back to some of the stuff that was included in the box. So now, before we jump into the review, I just want to let you guys know up front that I'm not getting paid by Venlab. This is not a sponsored video. They didn't pay me for this review. I just wanted to share my findings with all my subscribers and anyone who's into DIY, honestly. Of course, if you find value and think that this will be a good item to add to your catalog, as usual, I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy it if you want to. As we look at the multimeter, you can see right off the bat that it has a huge screen. It's a LCD screen, it's about three inches on the diagonal, and also it's backlit, which is a must if you plan to use this thing. In this day and age, to tell you the truth, every multimeter should have a backlit display. I don't know, what do you guys think? I would think so. It has a few buttons on the top to hold your readings, to cycle through the frequency, to set the range, and to operate the backlight. The one thing I do wish when I was using this thing is that I wish the backlight would stay on just a bit longer, but I may just be picky or maybe give me an option or something for varying the times. The function dial is super nice and feels stable when you're selecting the functions. It feels honestly really well made. It's not too clicky and you know, it feels really good. Now, at the bottom of the meter, you can find the ports to plug in your leads. And it, this one has four leads, unlike a lot of multimeters that usually just have two or three. But I'll get to the ports in a little bit. Once you flip this thing over, you'll find that it has a notch here on the back if you want to, if you ever need to hang your meter. But I find that most of the time, I just end up using the stand that comes built in and just lean it up against something. Except, check this out. They're actually magnets on the back. I mean, how awesome is that? I can't tell you how many times I couldn't find somewhere to prop my meter when I was working. And now this allows me to stick it to something metallic whenever I'm working. Good job, Venlab. This is a much welcome feature. I won't lie. It also has a placeholder for your test leads. Of course, most of them do. Now we can talk about weight. Once you have this thing in your hand, it feels really nice and really well made. It's not too heavy, but it doesn't really feel cheap either. You know, according to Venlab, this weighs, at, this weighs in at about 580 grams. But for us here in the US, that equates to about, eh, let me do my math, carry the one, divide it by two, so you know, okay. 1.28 pounds. So basically, one and a quarter pounds. 
As far as the physical dimensions of this thing, it comes in at about three and a quarter inches wide by seven and a quarter inches long. Just to give you an idea of how big this thing, I mean, I have relatively large hands and it fits comfortably. It's not too big and it's not too small or flimsy. Hopefully this gives you an idea of the size of this thing. Now that's pretty much it for the physical features, but one other overlooked feature is, is safety. Now, you're probably gonna end up dropping this thing from time to time, but this multimeter has a nice, thick, insulated silicone case that is gonna protect it from the daily bump and grind. Not sure why I made a reference to R. Kelly, but you get what I mean. So, it also has multiple internal fuses to protect against over voltage, and that is great. So you can feel safe that whenever you're using your multimeter, it will stand up to most of the potential damages, whether physical or electrical. Now, let's jump into the basic functions of this thing. This thing has, of course, the basic settings that most multimeters have. It can measure AC volts and DC voltage. So for AC volts, it can measure up to 750 volts, and for DC volts, up to 1,000 volts. It can also measure the current up to 20 amps, both AC and DC. And of course, it can measure capacitance and continuity, both with and without an audible tone. One of the cool things about this thing is that it, can, it supports a wide range of measurements, which a lot of the other multimeters are kind of limited, some of them, to only a few short ranges, if any at all. But even better than that is the auto ranging function, which means you don't have to select the range manually if you don't want to. You have the option to, but you don't have to. And if you're just getting into using a multimeter, the ranging feature can be a bit daunting. So this allows you to skip that and just get into using the multimeter. Apart from the basic functions, some additional functions that the meter can measure also include testing of your diodes, frequency, and duty cycles. Just again, another added bonus that this thing has that just made me smile. It's like the gift that just keeps giving. Huh. Speaking of gift, if you guys don't mind smashing the like button if you're finding value so far, that would be a great gift. And if you really like the content and want to see more, hit the subscribe button as well. That would be an amazing gift. Also, if, you're, if you think having these safety features that I went over are actually important, go ahead and leave a comment below. And after the video, if you have any other feature that you're looking for that I may not have mentioned, please feel free to let me know. I'll check my, I always check my comments and I really enjoy the feedback from you guys. Now we can start getting into some cool features that you never knew that you needed. But guess what? This multimeter has built in. You won't believe this. First of all, it has a built-in flashlight, which let me tell you, you can see it here, it comes in real handy in low light situations. I would have never thought that you would actually need a flashlight on my meter. I mean, I never thought about it before, but alas, I was wrong. And having this is a nice little touch. Another feature is the NCV, non-contact voltage sensor, which is amazing for those times that you don't want to have to connect the leads and you just want to know if there's power going to the device or circuit that you're actually working on. I was actually impressed at how sensitive this was, where it could actually tell the difference between the hot side and the neutral side of an outlet. I was not certain, I, I actually, to be honest, I wasn't sure that it would be sensitive enough to make that distinction, but once again, this little thing proved me wrong. If you thought having those features were great, check this out, it has a built-in thermocouple. So you actually have the ability to measure temperature. In case you're working on some project, like maybe you have an AC project or something where you need a temperature reading, this is where that additional port that we were talking about comes in at the base of the meter. Here we have a port dedicated to the thermocouple in addition to the regular COM ports, um, a 600 milliamp max port and your 20 amp circuit port. Now, before we get into the pros and cons, Let's talk about what you really want to hear. The physical dimensions. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Look, let's talk about price. Now, this is subjective and I will inevitably get complaints. Even if I said this thing was five bucks, there will always be someone that's out there that says, hey, I want it cheaper. So let me tell you, for a multimeter that has all the basic functions, all the advanced functions like the auto ranging feature and the built-in thermocouple, non-contact voltage tester, and not to mention the cool added functions like the magnets on the back and the flashlight, 
Me personally, I would expect to pay on, if I was paying on the cheap side, 50 bucks. And I've seen and owned mo several multimeters with similar features that cost well over $100. So I was impressed to say the least when I saw that this thing cost around, dun dun dun, $30. Yeah, I'm being for real, 30 bucks. I can tell you this, that for what it offers, that is a steal. And for that reason, I will tell you, this is definitely worth it. So now let's get into the pros and cons. And let's, hit, let's talk about the pros first. There are a ton, whether we're talking about the backlit LCD screen, the auto ranging function, the built-in thermocouple, the, the, the non-contact voltage tester, the silicone insulated case, the built-in magnets, the dual internal fuses. Um, the list actually goes on and on and on and on and on. Again, I can't say enough good things about this meter. Along with the pros, obviously there has to be some cons. And to be honest, I had to think hard to come up with these. And some of them, in my opinion, it's probably just me being picky. But as far as cons I would go, I would say the number one con would be the batteries. I'm telling you, you get these batteries, just throw them out. The batteries that were supplied, I can only categorize them as feeling like putty. Definitely not going into any device I own at all. The next thing I would say is, I would say that I wish the test leads were a little bit longer. Yeah, to be honest, I feel like, you know, if it had another six inches, it would be a little bit better. But who doesn't think six inches more would be better, right? Another con is I wish that this had a case that it came with. If not to add more protection during storage, then at least to make it easier during transport. And I know I can just buy a case, but that's me being picky again. And the last complaint that I mentioned earlier was that I wish there was a way to let the backlight stay on longer. Venlab, if you're listening, make that an option. At least give us the option to select whether we want it to stay on for five seconds, 10 seconds, a minute, something. But having the backlight on for a little bit longer, an extended period, was another one of the cons that I wish it had. But again, that's probably me being picky. To wrap it up, if you guys are in the market for a high quality multimeter for a price that won't break the bank, yo, you definitely want to check this one out. The Venlab 600A. It's packed with features that makes it an excellent choice for both professional electricians and DIY enthusiasts. I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can check it out if you want. You won't regret it, believe me. So if you're interested in more DIY electrical content, you guys can go ahead and check out some of my other videos. And I hope you enjoyed this review slash rant, if you want to call it that. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next one.